So a couple of weeks ago, um, run about May the 12th, right? We had this lady on the show, Betty. <laughs> and she was visiting with her daughter and her granddaughter. <laughs> so let's see how they've been since then. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, and hey, hey, call me. <laughs> All right, when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Janet Sanchez from Turlock. <laughs> Megan Sanchez from Burbank. Betty? <laughs> Betty Saunders from Turlock. All right, and you're three generations of Californian women. It's yes. delightful to see you, the flower of California. The last time you were here, Betty, we sent you to a restaurant, and you, went, you, you took your daughter and your granddaughter, and you guys had a great time, right? Well, it was oh, wonderful. Yeah. It was so <laughs> Excuse me a second. The ease in which California women can slip into fiction <laughs> is somewhat unnerving. <laughs> However, ladies, uh, a couple of things that I wanted to pick up on. Uh, first of all, Betty, you really like wearing that little two-piece. You were wearing that the last time. <laughs> and unless I'm greatly mistaken, do you have a East Coast accent? Is that? Oh, definitely. Yeah, is it B Boston? Yes. Really? Oh, you're good. Well, yes, I am good. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Why did you come out here, Betty? Uh, On the run, maybe? I, 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 I can run fast. Was there a, was there right, a crime? Uh, no, I came out here because we like the weather better than Boston. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you born in Boston? Yes. And you came out here and you, and you were born here? I was born here, yeah. All oh, right, yeah. I can tell you're a little more high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, got a, you got a little more kind of like, I'm so sure, yeah. It's, it's the weed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> weed? Did you say the weed? <laughs> Things are becoming clearer. <laughs> well, ladies, guess what? We're going to send you to another restaurant this time. Yay! <laughs> because you had such a good time at the last one we sent you there. Where are we going to send them this time? La Candavanet. La Candavanet. Do you enjoy Italian Ooh, food? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, good. Then uh, it's Italian, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, so you never know. It's America. People get things get mixed up. Look at this lot hey, right here. <laughs> Uh, so, La Canda Veneta, and guess what? CBS are also going to pay for your transport to and from La Canda Veneta. Turlock. From Turlock, California, which is where? Near, near... Uh, Modesto. Near Modesto? Wow! It, I didn't know it was such a cosmopolitan thoroughfare. <laughs> Modesto, the Paris of the... Uh, Northern California? Yeah. Central. 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 Central California. I'm not originally from here. Really? You're from Scotland. That's right. You're very good. <laughs> She's Scotland, but I don't know where. Are you, is your family from Scotland? Um, originally. Yeah. yeah? And they went to Boston? What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a good place to go. What, Boston? Yeah. I love Boston. I used to go to that half shell every, uh, every mm -hmm. 4th of July and do the thing on the Esplanade. And also, <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> Anyway, it's Memorial Day, so, uh, you know, <laughs> go and enjoy the sales. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by IHOP. Try IHOP's new Cinnamon Swirl Brioche French Toast with luscious cinnamon roll filling and cream cheese icing, only at IHOP. 
gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. everybody wow what a great crowd really good really yeah good. the real big holiday crowd for memorial yeah. day yeah, aren't yeah. they yeah. 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 So good. So fun. it is of course today a great day for america everybody yes <laughs> memorial day memorial day uh, memorial day or as cbs calls it make the immigrant go to work day <laughs> I have, if I have to be here, though, I'm just going to half-ass tonight's show. I'm just phoning it in. <laughs> in other words, just like every other show for the last 10 years. That's Am I right, correct. Jeff? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, earlier on, I did what every uh, patriotic American does on Memorial Day. I put on uh, small swimming trunks, Speedos. I went into the backyard and I cooked my meat. <laughs> Then I made some food for the family. <laughs> Honestly, I did. I spent uh, time at home with my family. And by family, I mean, of course, my ferrets. Um, I have a photo montage of uh, my day with my family. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Beautiful. Do you know what day it is today as well? It's not just Memorial Day. You know what else? What, what else? What else? Well, today is, in this day in 1897, Bram Stoker, uh, Dracula, was published for the first time. Ooh. Bram Stoker's book, Dracula. So, happy birthday, Dracula. Do you know who <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Do you know who else's birthday it is? Who else? Who else? Uh, guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Come Lenny, on, try. Lenny, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz, Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> that's right. Now, Lenny Kravitz and Dracula. Very different, of course. One is an elegantly dressed scoundrel who swoops into my dreams at night and bites me on the neck. And the other one is? Dracula. Dracula, that's right. Yeah. I've read Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's a very creepy book. A tremendous sense of menace that runs through that book. The sense of menace in that book is like the sense of menace you get when you're alone with a house cat. <laughs> Wow. That was scary. But that was a bit. Do a sense of menace. A sense uh, of menace. Okay, uh, the sense of menace when you see Mel Gibson walk into a synagogue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, it's like the sense of menace you get when you see a Kardashian go into a waxing salon. <laughs> I think we should stop doing that. It's creeping me yeah, out. It's very frightening. Yeah, very yeah. Frightening. I've always loved the name Bram Stoker. Nobody calls their kid Bram anymore. Nobody calls their kid D Bram. No. Come no. to think of it, no one calls their kid Dracula no. either no. anymore. No. You're moved, Gwyneth Paltrow. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, she Dracula. Yeah, yeah, Dracula would be a good name. Apple, uh, Moses, and Dracula. Moses. That'd yeah, be Moses. good. Moses. Yeah, sure. That's the name of one of our. Is that right? I didn't know that. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I think don't so. I, don't you read the celebrity magazine? No, I don't magazine? obsess on her life, man. I don't care about Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> you mean you don't care about Gwyneth Paltrow? Are you even in show business? No, man. What she eats kale and she's an elitist. What else the hell do you want to know? What do you want to know? <laughs> whoa, whoa! How dare, how dare you applaud that judgmental behavior from Jeff? <laughs> I, on the other hand, adore the colon cleansing work of Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> yeah. Colon cleansing. Yeah, well, you know, you know she's got a very clean colon. She sure probably. does. Yeah, I'm sure she does. <laughs> How did we go on to this? I don't know. All right. I'm sorry. Dracula. Dracula, yeah. Names yeah, for Yeah, I don't know. Are you doing anything for Memorial Day apart from standing next to the fire? I don't yeah. know why you do that. It's very hot today. Yeah, no, I... Probably. I it's probably very hot today. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's most likely sweltering out there, probably. Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's probably a hot day Got here it. in L.A. 
I've been inside all day struggling on writing a monologue for tonight's show. <laughs> and we're still writing it right now, I think, as a matter of fact. If, is that what we're doing here? Yeah, right now. We're working it out, man. <laughs> I wanted to try and put in something using the phrase working it out and Gwyneth Paltrow's colon, but I can't really figure anything out. I think it writes itself, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want to take a break? Yeah, we better get out of here. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Go for a walk, maybe? A romantic, uh, you know, excursion somewhere? <laughs> okay, come on over here and we'll go for a walk. I hate you. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Slashing prices, right, Jeff? Everything must Here, go. Everything must go tonight. Uh, tonight you can have uh, a little uh, glittery ball. Uh, what would that, the normal retail well, price of the glittery ball would normally be? Normally that's $300 for $300 that glittery ball. $300 tonight you can buy this glittery ball for... $17.99. $17.99 and we'll throw in the little thing of tape for... That's $5 for free, for free, the hell with it, free. Take it. <laughs> Take the whole damn thing. Just get it out of our faces. <laughs> $17.99, glittery ball and a little bit of tape. Make yourself a little Studio 54 in your apartment. Yeah, just like in the old days in New York. That's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, trying you're to, trying, trying to sell to, it, you... trying to sell it, you know, trying to sell it. No, 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 no. You think I didn't do a good enough job? No, no, you did a fine job. I was... oh, no, 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 no. It was a oh, passive-aggressive you know no, stab. Passive -aggressive. The way I was going to know it was. I had enough me... of you. Ooh, la, la. A piece of this? You want a piece of this? A piece of what? This? This? Yeah, I don't want a piece of that. Want. Yeah, come over here. I'll... I'll slap you to death. Yeah, come over here. Do you know what? I wish other late night talk show hosts that weren't working today because it's Memorial Day would phone me or something. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's uh, Jay Leno. Jay Leno, oh. how you doing? Eh? It's good to uh, go to dog you out here cooking some meat, you know, cooking a little bit of uh, that. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that glittery ball. You know, it looks pretty good there. It's a good deal. It's not bad. $17.99? Yeah, it's a good deal. Throw in the tape for free. Uh, well, Studio 54. Uh, the, uh, the, yeah. <laughs> it's like Jay Leno as a fly. I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs> well, I wonder if other late night talk shows. <laughs> oh, who else? <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's uh, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, it's great. That ball. Oh, what a good, uh, Joe, whoa. <laughs> what are you looking at me for, man? I just wondered if you knew who was on the phone. Who was that? Jimmy Fallon. Oh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was yeah. he calling for? I don't know. What are you calling for? Hey, oh, you're so great. I just want to say yeah. you're so great. Can I get that uh, glittery ball? It's awesome. It's great. It's got the tape. 17 wow. we'll throw in the tape for free. Oh, great. So great. Good. I put it in my studio. Cool. Wow. Awesome. Neat. Cool. Awesome. Whoa. Great. Whoa. <laughs> good for him. It's a good what? kid. Uh, are there, is there anyone else that, I don't know, the mic phone? Okay. <laughs> Hello, who is it? Uh, it's uh, George Lucas. George Lucas, yeah. creator of the Star Wars. Yeah, I heard you uh, talking about uh, Modesto. That's actually where I'm from, from Modesto. <laughs> and uh, you can score some pretty good weed over there. <laughs> the whole Star Wars uh, saga is based on uh, weed. Oh, I one night I just... <laughs> yep, that was definitely George Lucas. Yeah, that's George Lucas. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Okay. No. 
What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time, brought to you by Gwyneth Paltrow's Colon Cleanse. Consciously uncouple from intestinal toxins today. Hey, I wonder if Gwyneth Paltrow would ever call me. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello? Hi, Craig. How are you? Hello? Hi. Uh, it's Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow? Yeah. Why? Why are you yelling? Stop yelling. This is Miriam, isn't it? You know it is, ah, you. Ah, yes, Miriam, you horrible old lady that calls me up and pretends to be other people. I told you. Uh-oh. Call me, you nasty old bitch. I'll find you. I'll hunt you down like the Scottish dog you Shut are, up. sonny boy. <laughs> Hello? It's uh, Robert Downey Jr. How are you? Oh, hello, Robert Downey. It's good. It's good to be here just watching the show. Uh, pretty good stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, listen, could you uh, talk to Betty for me? Just want to take her to dinner. Maybe uh, see what you're doing. Pretty cute. Uh, don't hang up on me. Seriously, don't do that. That's not cool. That is so not cool. That is... Uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. All right, this is, uh, for, have we done the emails? No, we haven't read one. We haven't not read one. All right, one. okay. We better get on with it then. Yeah, I think we've only got a few seconds here. Uh, and finally, uh, this is from Arnie in Port St. Lucie in Florida. Have you ever been there? No, oh, Arnie, Arnie. No, Port St. Lucie. Yeah, Port St. Lucie, yeah. No, I've never been there. That is the one place I have never been. Well, I've been there, I think. <laughs> it's in Florida. Uh... He says, Craig, have you ever gone scuba diving? I have. I, I like to go diving. Uh, I've, I'm a certified diver, and I like to go, di I like to go diving at night. Because <laughs> that's when you see the most interesting things. Yeah, now, well, do you wear, like, a flashlight on your head, or how do, you, how do you see when you're down there? How does that work? Well, I just feel my way around, really. So you just sort of go, oh, this must be, you know, a shark, or this must be some sort of fish. How do you, how do you determine? Yeah, yeah, that too. I can do that. Oh, here's some krill. I mean, how the, how the hell does this work, man? Well, you just, you, you, you put on your equipment, you get down there, and you, you know, you get going. Are we still talking about scuba diving? For legal reasons, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know, this audience thinks by clapping like that, they're going to force me into a commercial break. Right. But you won't be fooled by that. Now, want to have a quick organ off? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, go. excited about my guest tonight, Jeff. Very, oh, very excited amazing. indeed. This is wonderful, yes. Very talented young actress. Her movie, The Fault in Our Stars, is in theaters June, June the 6th. June, June the 6th. <laughs> the very exciting Shailene Woodley, everybody. <laughs> You look great. Wow, look at those shoes. They're pretty intense, right? Right. Is that some kind of fluorescent rattlesnake thing? I don't know. I mean, it, it looks like it. It's like a painted... I don't know. It's, like, it's very, very good. Yeah. Well, well done. You look great. And I like the way you sit in a chair like that to get the like job done. Like a proper done. lady, you That's know. Right. You know like what I'm talking about. <laughs> where are you from originally? I'm from here. Where, where, where apart? In California? From L Right outside of L.A. I grew up Thurlock? In us. <laughs> How'd you know? No, you can't be. <laughs> Simi Valley. Simi Valley? Yeah. Do you ever okay. hear a lot of little airplanes flying around? 
No. Cause that's Have the, you been there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Simi Valley practice area is where everyone learns to fly in California. Is that right? Like when you, you learn to fly a little, fly a little airplane, you go to the Simi Valley practice area. No way. Yeah, yeah. And everybody flies around the little planes and like, it's great. So that's why, so that's why there's so many plane crashes around where I grew up. Yeah, kind of. Where are there? No. Well, okay. So that, have you ever flown a plane? Uh-uh, but I would like to. Yeah, I think you'd be good at it. You'd be fun. Yeah, because you go like that. You've got a kind of determined look about you. I kind of want to learn how to fly a plane just in case I'm ever in a plane and something goes wrong. I could be like, yo, buddy, hit this button, hit that button. Like, we got this. You know, like, it's always good. When I wouldn't a get in a of... plane unless the guy in the plane knew what buttons to press. But don't you feel like sometimes, like, you, you just want to, you know, like, it's like backseat driver kind of thing. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, oh, you know, I can help you out. No, I tell you, the only reason I learned to fly is because I was frightened of it. Uh -huh. And then I thought, well, uh, if I learn to fly, maybe I won't be frightened of it. And now I'm not frightened of it as long as I'm flying the plane. But if somebody else is... For, is Someone else is flying it, I'm like, hey, buddy, press that button, press that button. They're like, I got it, I got it. It's a serious control problem. I have. I yeah. could, do you have a control issue? I mean, I maybe. Let's do some therapy. All right. All right. Uh, okay. You know, my parents are therapists, so... Your parents are therapists? They are. Do you know... Psy psychotherapist? Uh, my dad was a school principal, now he's a family therapist. Right. And my mom's a middle school counselor. Wow, that's weird because therapists usually, to my mind, always have the craziest kids. The craziest kids? Yeah, yeah. I know, well, I mean, we just met, so. Yeah, I but you got that kind of look in your eye. You got a kind of crazy <laughs> and you got that kind of thing. Like, yeah, and then you got your rattlesnake shoes. I know crazy when I see it. You think I never met a crazy woman before? You, you are wrong, pinned, sister man. girl. <laughs> Look and how much fun you're ha you have. I have fun here. It's so amazing. Gotta have fun when you're doing your job. Gotta have fun, Yeah, man. you have fun when you're doing your so job? So much fun. Especially, like, this movie you've just done is very sad. It's very sad. Very sad It's movie. also very hopeful. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's like got sad themes. It does have sad themes. Sad themes. There's sad themes in real life. Yeah, no. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that when you do a movie like that, though, whenever I've done anything that's like, very serious, there's a lot of giggling when you're making it. I don't know why. Maybe it's a release tension. Yeah, maybe that, we yeah. do giggle a lot. Why do you do that with your I nose? Do you do that a lot? No, I don't. I do do that a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think it's... I think it's a kind of weird... Uh, I don't know. I should look it up. You Ask I, your I, parents. I bet you there's a weird... Uh, <laughs> They'll know. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a weird body language thing, though. It's like... It's like a, like a, like a, like a... It's like, look at me, I am the one you should be, pay attention to me. Look yeah. right here. At look right me. here. Don't look here or around here, right here. I don't know, it's good though. It's kind of, and you got your nails done, so it's like a little... I painted them maybe for like the first time ever the other day, and uh, they are already chipped. No, they look good. You have very elegant hands. Do you play the piano? I don't, but I wish I did. Well, you can still I've learn. What you? You're very young. You I can am learn young. To play. Yeah. I can totally learn, but there's yeah. so much patience involved with learning the how to learn how to play the piano. Are you not a patient person? I'm a very patient person, but I feel like it takes a lot of time to time and patience, you know. And I don't have. You don't have a lot of time. Much time, or I, I'm patient, but not. But not when I have limited time. I'm like, okay, I have two hours. What do I want to do? Right. I don't want to sit still for two hours. So know? what do you want to do if you got two hours? Like if I said, okay, you get two hours break right now. What are you going to do? I'm going to drive to the beach. You're going to go drive to the beach? Yeah. And then what? Sit down on the beach and do nothing for Stop two hours? I jump in the ocean. You're going to go in the ocean? Yeah. Do you ever go diving? Uh, no, I never. I mean, I've snorkeled, but I've, I have never done the scuba Snorkeling thing. Snorkeling to scuba diving is like, you know, it's like a Pinto to a Lamborghini. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> like different thing. You know, it scares me, the, like, lung compression thing and the... I mean, I want to do... It's like you, flying, you know? I feel like conquer the fear, but I just have not... I don't know if fears can be conquered. I think that's, uh, that's for people that don't that's understand the nature great, of fear. That's a, that's a great, great... I completely agree with you. I think you, there's no way to become fearless, right? But you no, got to face no. your fears. I think facing them, uh, only if it has some kind of therapeutic effect. I mean, yeah. like, f sometimes just facing your fears just for the sake of doing it is just absurd. It's just making yourself uncomfortable. For example, uh, if you have a fear of uh, shellfish, yeah. then avoid them. Like a fear of like a lobster? Yeah, if you're if, if you're frightened of lobsters, just don't go near them. Okay. You know, but if you're frightened of something like flying, which is something you're gonna have to do, then you're gonna have to figure out a system to work. But you can avoid the lobster. You can avoid lobster but pretty easily. You easy. can't avoid the plane as easily. It I get it. Doesn't seem that way. I get it. What frightens you? What are you frightened of? Submarines, I think, would be terrifying. submarines. Frighten you? I mean, can you imagine being stuck in a metal box? That uh, like. <laughs> 
leagues. How long do you want? Sleep? Ten years in a metal box? Yeah. Yeah, I can you imagine. You know exactly it. what I'm talking about. I know exactly about. what you, you mean. You can empathize with yeah. my fear. <laughs> Absolutely. That is confined spaces. No, not confined spaces, but I think I like Earth. You know, being in space doesn't seem interesting to me, and being what? way under the water, even though that, I guess, technically is Earth. See, it's just a completely different world. I don't want to be down there. I, I think you have a search for equilibrium going on here. I think you feel <laughs> there's a certain amount of uncertainty, and I think that's why you point at your nose. You're like, All right. I'm right here. So uh, what do I do? What do I do? Well, I think, I, I think you're doing fine. Okay. I don't think you need to do anything. I think that sometimes therapy is just a little bit of information. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to do anything. Does it have to do something? No. 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 I think it's good observation. Yeah, I think it's nice to know who you are. It's probably... Oh, it's great to know who yeah, you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. feel like you know who you are? Yeah, I think so. Now, I didn't for a long time, though. I was very lost. You know, drugs and alcohol and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You avoiding all that? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> you be careful with it. You gotta be careful with it, though. I mean, people say they experiment with it. Go, no, you're not a scientist. No, you know? no, no, no. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, you just got to be watching, especially you're very successful, very young. You know, I've, I've seen that before, so you got to be careful. You know, point at your nose. <laughs> right here. Be careful. Do you, do you think that that's, that's a, a, a handicap? Like youth and success, does it, does it concern you or do you feel confident about it? No, man. I mean, I feel like you, uh, does it concern me being... Does it unnerve you, perhaps? Do you worry about fear is success going away? Oh, God, no. No, because there's so many things in the world to do. God bless you, young lady. Right? Good for you. Yeah. There's so many things. Yeah. I want to learn how to make a great cup of espresso. Right. There's always that to look forward there's to. There's always that to look forward to. <laughs> Good. I like, we have to take a commercial break. All right. Yeah. But violence when I was a kid. Huh? Kids, yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Shelley Woodley. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that. They know who you are, and if they then if they don't, that's their problem. Nah. Yeah. I think so. Would you ever smoke a pipe? Uh, yeah, actually, I have only really ever smoked tobacco out of a pipe. I know really? that sounds you, weird. Do you solve crimes as well? No. It's this weird thing. So I study herbalism. Which Do you? Is, yeah, which is like the study of plants for whatever medicinal purposes. And part of that, I started studying indigenous cultures, Native American cultures, and right. Native Americans used to smoke tobacco as like a healing, you know, like for healing purposes. Um, it's probably and, not a good idea, really. No, pro I mean, you know, they're everything in moderation, and I feel like... Anyways, but I have some friends who, who grow tobacco, and so they smoke it out of a, a really? good old pipe. Yeah. You are you. so cool. <laughs> it just looks cooler, too. It, well, I think it looks like, it, you know, it, it looks like I'm smarter. It's like wearing kind of horn rim glasses. Mm. You know, you're like, oh, that guy's smart. He ain't smart. He's just wearing glasses. Well, you're pretty yeah. smart. I'd say you're I'm smart. I'm pretty smart. Yeah, you're yeah. smart. Not that smart, though. No. And I'm nowhere near as cool as you. You're very cool. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. Man. I can tell. You do this, and you do this. Man, you're like really good at this body language. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah. I observe. You are. You're a yeah, professional yeah. observer. What's this Sherlock Holmes thing? You observe. You know, you see Holmes. You see Watson, but you do not observe. You know, you've got to observe, see what's going on. It's true. You do have to see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, you have to see what's going on. You're damn right, girl. People will be taking your stuff if you don't. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of time. Okay. Yeah. How do you want to wrap this up? Want to do an awkward pause or uh, a bit of meditation, maybe? Do you know how to meditate? Yeah. Yeah, we can meditate. You just, uh, you just uh, think, right? That's what I do, because how do you meditate and not think? Well, you're actually not meant to, though. That's the thing. I, I know, but I don't know how. I, uh, I, think. I think. I think the first stage in meditation, my guess is, is that you have to not give yourself a hard time about what your brain's doing. Exactly. You just got to let it flow, let man. Let it happen. Observe. Let it Observe let it Observe what your brain is doing. Totally. And then play a bit of Enya. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you're really cool. I like you. There's not that many people I like when I do this job, but you're cool. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it's all right. Man. You're pretty cool, too. Thanks. And you got great socks. Thank you. They're tights. 
you got amazing tights. Yeah, it gets Long cold. Long tights? No, they're tights. Uh, amazing. Yeah, I wear them for skiing. <laughs> and for talk shows. Yeah, well, you never know. It goes downhill pretty fast around here. <laughs> How's that thinking going? Yeah, just let it go. Let it all drift away. It's totally surrender, man. Yeah. <laughs> Shailene Woodley, everybody. Say. a very funny comedian. I've worked with him before a couple of times. Uh, he's very, very funny. He's appearing at Johnny D's in Somerville, Massachusetts on August the 7th. Please welcome Dan Bolger, everybody. Dan Bolger. All right. Craig Ferguson, everybody. How about that guy? That guy is the best guy. All right. Well, nice to be back. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I recently lost 30 pounds. That was good. Half of you clapped, and the rest of you are like, whoa, you shouldn't have lost 30 pounds. <laughs> I am aware. There's a story behind it. It's not like I was trying to lose five pounds, and I just shot by it. <laughs> I went to a doctor because I thought I had heartburn, but they didn't run any tests. They just looked at me, and they were like, no, you have diabetes. So I was close. <laughs> like, you ever go to a mechanic, and you're like, hey, I think the brake pads are getting thin. He's like, no, actually, the engine fell out about 10 miles ago. <laughs> It's like that, but with a pancreas. <laughs> so I stayed in the hospital there, and I learned a few things. One thing they told me, I can't drink booze anymore. <laughs> There's always one drunk. But <laughs> well, they didn't tell me that. They told me I had diabetes, and I was like, oh, can I still drink? Which probably shouldn't have been the first question I asked. <laughs> it probably should have been more like, what is diabetes? <laughs> and so I was like, oh, can I still drink? And they're like, yeah, but you can only have like one. And I was like, no deal. <laughs> So I was sitting around, I was like, oh man, I can't drink anymore. I gotta figure out some way to get high. Because I'm not just gonna live. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out how to get high, and then I heard somewhere you can get high from working out, which I now do every day. And let me tell you, that is not even kinda true. <laughs> but I do it, so within a year, I've quit drinking, and now I work out every day. And I have friends that are like, whoa, I should get diabetes. <laughs> and I know that it's messing with me, but there's a logic there, you know? But still, it's got to be a better way to get your life together. Like, getting diabetes so then you get your act together would be like becoming a registered sex offender so that you can meet your neighbors. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, weird thing to applaud. <laughs> Some pedos out there. <laughs> Things are going good, though. I'm finishing up college. Uh, I'm getting my degree in history, so let's hope comedy works out. <laughs> I feel like schools offer history just to make English majors seem useful. Uh, <laughs> I decided to study history because uh, I'm not that smart. History is great if you're dumb. Like, you ever try to learn math? It's impossible. <laughs> You gotta take like equations and then memorize them and then use them. No. History's great. History's just like a guy tells you a story and then you're like, oh yeah, I know that now. I'm a historian. It's fascinating, though. History's interesting. Like, one little detail about an event can just blow your mind about it, you know? Like, I was reading this thing about uh, World War II. This thing I read, it said we won World War II because of cans. Because we had them and the Nazi team didn't. So we could spread our troops out better, we'd feed them, we could shoot more, have more energy. So we won World War II. It's like, oh, that's weird. Because I always thought we won World War II because Hitler made the same mistake Napoleon made. He invaded Russia. So he had to fight a war on an Eastern and a Western front, which was an effort that Germany nor any army in history could really sustain. But <laughs> turns out, no, it was cans. <laughs> cans all along. But if that's the case, it was Hitler's fault because he was such a bigot. Did you guys know that? <laughs> Hitler was bigoted, it came back to bite him because so many of the great minds of the time were German Jews, like Albert Einstein, fled Germany for fear of persecution, came to America, figured out how to split the atom, invented the A-bomb, boom. <laughs> so think about it, had Hitler not acted all Hitlery, 
Einstein would have stayed in Germany. And he would have figured out how to make a can. <laughs> hey, you guys were awesome. Thanks so much. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank Thanks, you. buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Bojure. Making their late night debut performing Crazy Bird off their album The Runaround. Wild Child, everybody! Wild Child! Around for days, this porch on which I pays. Cause I need your mind, I need me yours. You stole my breath away, you swore to me you stay. I found something that I adore. Well, oh, how, how are we supposed to go on? Not knowing if you lead the way. Left to break it till the little piece fell no more, no more. Whisper the things we'd scream. Hey. Now to go on, not knowing if you lead the way I do, I do, I do, are you bad at each traveling elsewhere, you need to know I got the bones rolling out against the floor, and if you left to break it to the little piece of no more. 